Okay, wait a minute. Go ahead, you can hit it. So, anybody recognize this guy? I do. Jewel Strongball, my goodness. It's, it's Mighty been, Bill, it's been a while since it's been we've a been long, together. Last time I saw you was at uh, Madison Square Garden way back in the 70s? It was, no, it was 1983, June 21st. 1983 is the last time I seen you was in Madison Square and Garden. Then, and we also saw each other at Sunnyside Garden? Yep. So when did you officially retire? I, re I officially retired in 2001. And where did you go from there? I went to I went to live in, in uh, I was living in Connecticut and I stayed there. Then my wife's mother got sick, so we went to be by her in Missouri. I was there about two and a half years. Then my wife said it's time to go home, so I moved back home to the Oneida Indian Reservation. And you're still there, in Green Bay, and I'm still there. Wow. And I won't leave there ever again, you know, to live someplace else. That's what were your what are your memories of working back for the old WWF and teaming with Chief J. Strongbow? Well the, the the big thing was I did all the work, he got all the glory. Oh I heard. We put you in the magazines together though. Yeah. 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 I, I done all the work, he, he took all the glory. You know, and even even he said at one point he says, you know, you get in there and do all the work and I'll come in and finish the match and, and you know, and I went, okay. Yeah. Well, he was working in the office there at the time too, wasn't he? No. We were working in the office. I didn't know you were ever in the office. I was, I was, I was unofficially his assistant. I didn't know that. Again, I was doing all the work, he was taking all the glory. And then Vince Jr. found out that I was doing all the paperwork for him, and my paychecks went up, and I think his went his down. His went down. <laughs> so tell us, uh, toughest opponents in the tag teams that you worked with, I would assume it was the Valiant Brothers? I never worked with the Valiant Brothers. The toughest opponents Jay and I worked with were the Wild Samoans. Oh, Alpha and Sika. Yeah, and also, Fuji and Saido. Yes, yes. There's yes. no walk in the park. Yeah, yeah. You know, so you got you got four of the the, the top wrestlers in the business in, in those four guys, and we're working against them all the time. You know, to me, number one, it's an honor to get in the ring with those guys sure. to begin with. Number two, to win a match over either one of those teams. Huge. Bigger on Why it. not the Valiants though? They were around. At they the were same gone time. before I came okay, in. Okay, I didn't realize that. Yeah, they were around. When History can uh, totally wrong here. They were. They were around when Jay was working with Billy White Wolf. Right. Exactly. You know. So that's who was there then. But memories of uh, Vince Senior. There is only one thing you can say about Vince Senior. He is probably the most loved and respected promoter in the re in the professional wrestling in the last since pro wrestling began in the early 30s and 40s. Were you surprised when Vince Junior took controlling interest of the company and made it into a worldwide phenom? No. Our business is an evolving business. It's constantly changing. And all you had to do was look down the road and you could see that somewhere down the road, somebody's gonna take this all over and make it a worldwide entity. And you can't fault the man for having the vision to do it. Yes. And the wherewithal and the resources to make sure that he done it right. Correct. In his book. A lot of fans were angry about it saying that he put a lot of the territories out of business? I would say, yeah, he put a lot of territories out of business, but in the same vein, the territories put themselves out of business. Mm -hmm. Because they didn't want to evolve into, into something new and different and, and a different way of doing things. A lot of them just wanted to go back to the old way of doing things yes. and keep it that way. Yeah, yeah. Granted, and wrestlers never made so much money being with Vince Jr. You know, these guys are making a fortune nowadays, but in the same vein, while they're making this fortune, their career 
is nowhere the length of the career from the old guys. Correct. You know, Correct. Us guys, and I'll give you an outside example. Ricky Morton right now is still wrestling. Yeah. 67 years old. He's still wrestling. He looks great. A good friend of mine, a guy by the name of Lou Thez, wow. had his last match at the age of 74. Right, right. You know, so back then, with the wrestling being different than what it is today, you could you could scope out an entire lifetime in, in that career field. Sure, but right now with the bumps everybody's now, taking. With the lunacy that they do, <laughs> if they make ten years they're doing good. If do, they you, make do you fo do you follow it currently? No, I don't follow it religiously or anything. You know, I keep in touch with what's going on and who's coming in, who's going out. How some of the matches look, and some yeah. of the matches I look at on TV today, I want to go in the bedroom and cry. Wow. Too many high spots? Too many high spots. Too many people don't know how to work, don't know how to wrestle. They're more worried about a gimmick than they are the craft. Yeah. yeah. You know, so what can you say? You can't. Jules Strongbow, thank you so very much. Uh, fans my can get, pleasure. Fans can get in touch with him at uh, ESS Promotions right, right there on the... Uh, on the background here and uh yeah he's still this guy when you see this picture what do you think about i wish i had it to do all over again i love it bill after with jewel strongwell and we'll see you at the matches all right